This meeting is being recorded. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Career Spotlight on Careers in Chiropractic Medicine. My name is Lisa kuntz Samanuk. I am the Chinook School Division Industry Education Program Facilitator. Have you ever wondered about the workings of the musculoskeletal system and its connection to your overall health and wellness? Are you interested in pursuing a career in medicine or healthcare? On behalf of the Regina Industry Education Council, we are pleased to be able to have Dr. Rhonda Corrigan here with us today to speak to us about her career in chiropractic medicine and her journey in the field of medicine from diagnostic imaging uh, to chiropractic medicine. Before we begin our spotlight today, I would like to remind students to take a moment following the presentation to complete the brief student survey and be entered into a draw for $50. Your feedback is important in helping us arrange future spotlights. We will also have some time at the end of the presentation today for you to ask any questions or you may contact Dr. Corrigan directly. Thank you. For those of you just joining us, we are pleased to have Dr. Rhonda Corrigan with us here today. Dr. Corrigan graduated from the Memorial Chiropractic College in Toronto in 1998 and has been practicing chiropractic care in Swift Current since 2003. Her er areas of professional interest include family care, senior care, acute injury, chronic pain, pregnancy and wellness management strategies. Dr. Corrigan enjoys busy family times with her husband, Ken, her daughter, her two stepsons and her two grandchildren. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Corrigan here with us today. Take it away, Dr. Corrigan. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very pleased to be able to speak to you about chiropractic, uh, especially chiropractic in Saskatchewan, which is where I'm from and where I've chosen to practice. So let's begin with some information about me. Uh, I graduated from Weyburn Comprehensive School and attended university in Regina for a couple of years. Uh, then became employed at the SASTEL for several years until I decided to return to school in Saskatoon for a certified combined technician course, which combines lab and x-ray work, specifically geared for small hospitals, of which there were many in the province at that time. So I went on to work in that capacity for 13 years after which I returned to university in Regina for some further undergraduate studies before gaining uh, entrance to the Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College. I graduated from there in 1998 and happily returned to Saskatchewan uh, to practice in Esteban for several years and then moved to Swift Current in 2003 to practice at New Family Chiropractic here. So um, entrance to chiropractic college in Canada is based on a minimum of three years in university. Uh, chiropractic school itself is a four year program uh, and a 12 month internship. The first couple of years are spent on anatomy, pathology, physiology, microbiology, and then as you get into your third and fourth year, we put that information together um, so that we can diagnose conditions that we would often see in practice, including um, rehabilitation, biomechanical changes to the spine, including adjustments, which is what chiropractic uh, is mostly about. Uh, we also learn how to take x-rays, how to read x-rays. Uh, we also do a short course in laboratory skills, including drawing blood, and uh, blood analysis and urine analysis as well. Although not many chiropractors do that in their practice at this time. Um, the professional courses include chiropractic study, psychomotor skills, related health professions, uh, including business jurisprudence, which is understanding the laws that govern the practice of chiropractic in the country or province you choose to practice in. Um, we also learn about ethics, professionalism, and we also study research because that's a very important part of being a health professional is keeping yourself current on the best possible therapies for the patients that you'll be seeing. There are two schools in Canada, 
uh, Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College in Toronto, where I attended, and Trois-Rivières College in Trois-Rivières, Quebec. So chiropractors treat a variety of MSK conditions, which is um, musculoskeletal, uh, including uh, back pain, concussion, whiplash, headaches, arthritis, work injuries, neck pain, uh, limited range of motion in all other joints of the body, including the shoulders and the knees and ankles. So our goal is to relieve pain, restore mobility and help people that come to us for our help to prevent reoccurrences of those conditions. Um, chiropractors in Saskatchewan are an essential part of the healthcare system. Uh, we are able to order x-rays and ultrasounds. We diagnose and treat conditions, and we're actually able to refer patients to other professionals, including medical specialists, including neurologists and orthopedic surgeons. Uh, we are considered a regulated health profession in Saskatchewan, and our uh, governing body is the Chiropractors Association of Saskatchewan. Chiropractors are seen as an essential part of the healthcare system, and we hold privileges with the Saskatchewan Health Authority. This slide uh, reviews some of the treatment goals that we work with the people that come to see us. We relieve acute and chronic pain, um, work with people to improve their overall health through exercise, increasing strength. Uh, the chiropractic adjustment is crucial in restoring the mobility of the joints that are no longer moving and causing that person to be in pain. Um, prevention uh, goals that we attempt to meet with our patients are correcting posture, uh, workplace modifications that can minimize things like carpal tunnel, tension headaches, um, back and leg pain from sitting too much. We also work with athletes to help them continue in the sport of their choice. We also offer nutritional counseling and we can help people select um, supplements that may support their recovery from the conditions that they are seeing us for. So the chiropractic practice itself, um, comes in a variety of, of colors, if you like. Um, you can choose to uh, practice in a multidisciplinary clinic with other health professions. Um, one or more chiropractors may practice together and invite a physiotherapist or a massage therapist. Uh, there are practices that include reflexology, um, and those are the types of uh, professions you find in a multidisciplinary clinic. I, um, not so much in, in Saskatchewan, but in Ontario, uh, it is quite common to see uh, medical doctors and chiropractors and physiotherapists working even with psychologists in the same office. Um, you can choose to work in a group practice or as a sole practitioner. Our referrals for patients come from patients themselves who are happy with the things that we've been able to help them with. We also get referrals from medical doctors, physiotherapists, massage therapists, and also other health professionals, including naturopaths. Uh, chiropractors regularly work with SGI and workers' compensation to help people recover from injury, injuries associated with work or motor vehicle accidents. Um, the main focus of chiropractic practice um, is an open practice, if you like, but some pr practitioners focus on specialized assessment, geriatrics, rehabilitation, sports injuries, and as I said, just a general practice. So chiropractors manage pain with a combination of education, spinal manipulation, mobilization, soft tissue therapy, and exercise therapy. Patient education is, is of prime importance for chiropractors because the more a person understands about how their body works, 
and the things that they can do along in conjunction with their chiropractor to get better, the faster they will recover. Referrals to chiropractors come from many different sources, as I said before, but the biggest source of referrals you will find for chiropractic is patients' word of mouth. So the rewards of, of becoming a chiropractor, in my opinion, are many. Uh, the ability to make a difference in the lives of others. Uh, chiropractors um, are very fortunate uh, in being able to own, own, own their own business. Each time a chiropractor interacts with a patient, that patient's well-being can be improved. And in some cases, the positive results are immediate. While other conditions may require additional treatment, chiropractors help patients achieve better health and ultimately an improved quality of life throughout one's lifespan. One of the most appealing things about becoming a chiropractor is the likelihood of owning your own business. While owning a business can be nerve wracking for some, it is immensely popular for most. You can set your own hours of service and control every aspect of your practice. It's the choice of many who are called to the healing profession and who also desire a work-life balance. The increase in patient-focused, integrative, multidisciplinary approach to healthcare, which calls for all healthcare professionals to work together in their specialty area. And this trend has opened up new opportunities for doctors of chiropractic to work with medical doctors and other specialists as an essential part of the healthcare system. Being a doctor of chiropractic provides you with freedom and flexibility Maybe you prefer to practice in a location that allows you to surf every afternoon, or maybe your hobby includes skiing or gardening, perhaps time for your family. It allows you to have the flexibility to schedule your day around your family's activities. While most chiropractors choose to offer care to patients of all area, ages in family practice, there are some specialty practices within chiropractic. And that is another bonus for chiropractic care is the professional options. So is it a career for you? Well, there are challenges and there are stressors. If you're passionate about promoting health and wellness, if you're someone who has great people skills, and you have the drive to be a leader in your community, if you're interested in primary health, contact healthcare, uh, whose focus is on the patient's well-being, if you're someone who enjoys solving challenging problems and collaborating with a team, if you're excited to learn critically, to critically examine emerging research and integrate that knowledge into an ability to make clinical decisions relating to diagnosis and treatment. Some of the challenge or stressors may be that tuition fees for chiropractic colleges range from $27,000 for one year uh, to $26,000 for year four. And this doesn't include your supplies and the required textbooks in Canada, nor your living expenses. Uh, another stressor is the first five years following graduation from chiropractic college. Um, you have to determine a place where you want to live and practice, and you also have to be able to earn enough money to pay your student loans, and you may also be incurring the cost of starting up your own business. The chiropractic program itself consists of two years of foundational uh, knowledge building. Uh, however, year three emphasizes knowledge of integration, and year four is a 12-month clinical internship uh, where you provide direct care and education to patients under supervision of a licensed chiropractor. So full-time chiropractors work an average of 41 hours per week. Uh, this makes it a great career for the work-life balance. Uh, you can choose to offer after-hours care or emergency care, but most practitioners choose to work during regular business hours, 
Um, you also have the option to provide after supper hours or even on Saturdays. So your ability to meet the needs of the community you've chosen to practice in are wide open. So the average gross income for a chiropractor in Saskatchewan and Manitoba is about $235,000 and the average net income is $138,000. So support and professional development. As a chiropractor, uh, professional development is key. Uh, it's important that you have a lifelong love of learning. Uh, all provinces do have a mandatory level of continuing education requirements so that you can maintain your license to practice. Um, support comes in the form of the Canadian Chiropractic Protective Association. They are there as an insurer. If you perhaps get into trouble with a complaint from a patient or a malpractice charge, every province in, in Canada has a provincial chiropractic association. And they not only set the framework for the practice of chiropractic in that province, but they are there to assist you with the day-to-day -day operations of your practice. The National Chiropractic Association for Canada is the Canadian Chiropractic Association. And they do a lot of work internationally to promote chiropractic worldwide. And there are other worldwide organizations for chiropractic if you choose to join. So in Saskatchewan, chiropractic is a growing profession. Uh, there are currently 235 chiropractors in Saskatchewan, growing at about a 2% rate per year. Uh, Saskatchewan does have capacity. Uh, they have the lowest ratio of chiropractors to population in Western Canada. So there's a lot of opportunity for chiropractic growth in, in Saskatchewan. Uh, currently, um, um, Sorry. Uh, currently, the biggest percentage of chiropractors in Saskatchewan actually reside in Saskatoon and Regina. So there's a lot of opportunity for growth uh, in the smaller cities in Saskatchewan. So here's opportunities in the field. So shortages of chiropractors in the smaller cities and rural areas in Saskatchewan are terrific locations for chiropractors. Uh, advancement, uh, the opportunity to grow your own business is limited only by your desire. Um, providing supplements, exercises, pain relief products is also another way to uh, earn another income while you're practicing chiropractic. Uh, there are related fields. There is a significant opportunity for chiropractors to specialize in sports sciences, uh, diagnostic imaging, clinical sciences, pediatrics, geriatrics, and rehabilitation. Uh, in a lot of the smaller cities, chiropractors are often asked to volunteer their professional services to various sports teams, uh, to travel with them, to provide uh, supportive care for injured um, players. So, you know, lots of, of uh, chiropractic professionals in smaller communities choose to um, give back to their community by donating their service in these ways. Uh, professional involvement can also happen uh, with various insurers, as I said before, Workers' Compensation Board and Saskatchewan Government Insurance. Um, often will ask chiropractors to sit on uh, review boards for injured persons, either from a motor vehicle injury or a work-related injury, to determine the best possible care for that patient to resume to their normal um, life. So the work-life balance, uh, especially for chiropractors, um, uh, the flexible work environment and being able to determine your own hours uh, is very attractive for most. Even if you choose to work in an established clinic, um, lots of times you can work in conjunction with the practice owner to determine hours that are suitable for the life uh, you want to live in that community. 
Uh, the professional freedom chiropractic has allows for scheduling time to enjoy family, travel, or other recreational activities. Self-employment is very attractive uh, in that you can control every aspect of your practice. In the early days of practice, your work and promoting your presence in the community may take up a great deal of your time. Uh, practice building is a commitment, but the rewards, I cannot tell you um, how much you, you comes back to you when you decide to give to your community. Uh, in chiropractic practice, overtime is not something that happens very much, but uh, when you first graduate chiropractic college, uh, if the financial uh, <laughs> responsibilities are such that you may want to work more in your early days so that uh, you can free yourself from, from the debt associated with going to school. Uh, there are pros and cons to being self-employed and you will learn to navigate them um, as you move forward in your career. The thing with work-life balance is that it's something that will change over the, the course of your lifetime, uh, depending what your priorities are from one time to another. And that is my presentation. I am more than happy to answer any questions at this time. Thanks, Dr. Corrigan. I have a number of questions for you. Uh, my first okay. one is around um, the undergraduate part. You mentioned that um, a three-year undergrad uh, is required to enter chiropractic medicine. Yes. Um, um, are there areas you would recommend students pursue for that three-year undergrad? Mm -hmm. and, and certainly, um, if you desire to complete your degree program before you enter, uh, certainly nobody would tell you not to do that either. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, a lot of students focus on kinesiology at this time. Uh, when I was attending chiropractic college, I, I found that the students that did the best in the early years were those that had done an anatomy-based science education. Um, and even our classmates of mine who had done um, physical education as a teacher often excelled very well in those areas because uh, body motion and, and function is an integral part of chiropractic. Oh, that's interesting to hear. So you could be a, you could have a kinesiology degree. You could be a teacher, whatever. And, and yes, we had many, to make a change. Yep. We actually had uh, three teachers in my graduating class who had all taught um, physical education, been sports coaches. Uh, we also had a number of registered nurses and um, they, everybody did quite well. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, my next question is, if students are interested in sports medicine, could chiropractic medicine be an area of study? Yes, very medicine, much so. Um, chiropractic actually has a specialized area um, for sports medicine. We have a lot of chiropractors that travel with national teams out of Canada. It's not uncommon to have Olympic teams have chiropractors travel with them. So yes, uh, sports is a very big area for chiropractic. Because mm. I know a lot of, of students that. might consider kinesiology and then go on to do something within sports, but chiropractic isn't something they think of usually, but it's, but it's good to consider. But the joint manipulation and understanding the basic body mechanics required for that sport to be undertaken is something that chiropractors are extremely well-versed in. Oh, good. Uh, next, I wanted to ask you a question, a couple of personal, more, more personal ones. One mm -hmm. is around uh, what led you to make the change in your medical practice from diagnostic imaging to chiropractic medicine? Well, there were a couple of factors there. Um, my, my uncle was a chiropractor. My father was a chiropractor. And one of my older cousins was a chiropractor. <laughs> Wow. Uh, my brother had just graduated chiropractic college uh, a couple of years before. And when I had left high school, it was my goal to complete my prerequisites to enter chiropractic college. 
However, um, working for SASTEL and earning money and being with my friends kind of got in the way of that. So I did kind of get sidetracked. Um, I very much enjoyed my, my work at the hospital as a combined technician, but circumstances at that time, they were closing a lot of small hospitals and I had to decide whether I wanted to stay on in a me purely medical career or whether I wanted to pursue a career that would allow me to be self-employed and not employed by the government of Saskatchewan. And so that's one of the biggest reasons I chose to enter into chiropractic care. Oh, okay. Because I know now one of the things that is in high demand is the combined lab x-ray technician in the rural areas. It is a position that we often are asking students to consider. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I often miss my work in the hospital. Uh, it's a great career. I would highly recommend it for anyone who's thinking they would like to to do that kind of lab and x-ray work. It's it's a great, great career. And the earning potential is good there as well. So my last question is around advice. Um, mm -hmm. What advice would you give students who might be considering a, cons a career in chiropractic medicine? <laughs> That's a hard one. Um, I know. <laughs> I... Uh, I know coming out of high school and going to university for those two years, I was not ready to commit myself to six more years of school. Um, so I, I took a step back and had a look at what I wanted to do. And eventually in a very roundabout way, I made my way back to my first choice. Uh, I was actually 40 when I graduated chiropractic college and I've had a very good 20 plus years uh, practicing chiropractic. Um, so it doesn't always have to be your first choice, but if there's a passion for that kind of care where you can directly put your hands on a person and help them, um, there is no better reward in my opinion. I would, as advice to a high school student, I would say look hard at what your ultimate goal is, where you eventually want to be in the next five years, and then spend that first five years out of high school working towards how to get to that spot, and then make another five-year plan after that. Good advice. Yeah. Good advice. Thank you. Renette, do you have any questions? No, my goodness, you um, you hit every nail, I think, on the head. And good questions, Lisa, too. So yeah, just thank you questions. so much for, for giving us this time and this, this awesome presentation. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, chiropractic is still what gets me up in the morning. I love going to work. I love all the people that I'm allowed to be part of their life. And I can't tell you how great a reward this practice has been to me. Thanks. Uh, on behalf of the Regina Industry Education Council and Chinook School Division, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Corgan for her presentation here today. Uh, it was interesting for me to hear more about the wide scope of practice of a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. I don't know if people are always aware of that and the growing profession that it is. Um, I also appreciated hearing how work-life balance is important. I know that students, this is partic it's particularly important for them in today's world as they choose a career to pursue that work-life balance is considered and is important. So thanks again, Dr. Corgan, for sharing your experience with us. And My I'm pleasure. sure we'll have some students contacting you in the future. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you for the opportunity.